Hey everybody! Did you have a barbecue yesterday? Do you have leftovers? Because I have a recipe for you. I really wanted to get on last week and do some kind of fun 4th of July recipe and kept putting it off. So I was at the store and was like, wait, I know a really great um, recipe that's barbecue related that you can use all of your leftovers for. So what we're doing today is smothered barbecue burritos and I'll show you it's really easy it's kind of like whatever you want to put inside of them you can kind of make it your own but I saw this on a show on Food Network years ago my favorite show The Kitchen and I've been trying to find the original recipe because I was just going off of my I was going off of memory and was like maybe I'm forgetting something I just want to double check I could not find the recipe. I looked on Pinterest for similar recipes. I couldn't find anything. Not that like, it is a really great recipe, but um, now, so I'm doing it here on YouTube to show you guys. It's really easy. I have some shredded barbecue chicken here. You can use pork. Um, either one would be really great. And I have some cheese here, some shredded cheese. It's the Mexican blend, but it's not taco season. That's just what I like to keep on hand. Um, and then the grill and beans. This is honey chipotle to give it kind of, this is kind of like a Tex-Mex meal. So um, I went with honey chipotle. So what we're going to do that's special with the beans is straining all of the sauce out of them. So I'm pouring them over a strainer that's in a bowl. I realize y'all can't see this. Um, all right. It might make a mess on the counter. I'm not really sure. Okay. I have my oven preheated to 350, which this is something that comes together like really quickly and is kind of minimal. Um, I'm not really making much of a mess except for like these two bowls and the pan that I'm putting them in which is like way less than a lot of meals I make um, so it's kind of not it's kind of like a break night from cooking but we're going to get that juice out of there or whatever you want to call it sauce I'm gonna mix the beans in with my chicken I also don't want um, the cheese on top of the burrito that's like my personal thing I was thinking about it and I was like, I want it inside and only inside. And I'll kind of show you why as we go. Um, I feel like it's cleaner that way. Cause um, the t when it's on top, it just kind of slides around and ends up on the plate more than in your um, mouth basically. But okay, tossing the beans in with the chicken. And you really can add like whatever you want to this. Like I'm using the barbecue leftovers clearly, but you can do like, I know some people like like peppers and onions in their burritos. Um, just kind of make sure the flavors are alike. Like I wouldn't throw your potato salad in there or anything. Um, I'm gonna, I think there's onions in these. No, maybe not. I'm gonna do the cheese. I'm gonna start with a little bit and then add just kind of see how we're looking. Something that would be good on top of this would be like the queso cheese, like the white cheese that you get like in the, where the sour cream and everything is at the grocery store. That would be good like melted and poured on top also. But when it's shredded and melted on there, like I feel like it's just kind of not utilized as well as it being inside. I don't know about everybody else, but today July 5th I am struggling like it's not like my normal day to day is that different from like I didn't have to go back to a job or anything but I like sat around a lot longer than I would normally this morning and I've seen on social media a lot of people are feeling the same it's kind of like a July 4th hangover to put them in the microwave really quick for probably about 10 seconds flip them and then 10 more and I'm just doing four right now I'm gonna see if if that'll be enough. Okay, I have a pan lined with foil just to make cleanup easier. I'm gonna roll these up, but since I am kind of nervous, I don't want y'all to watch me do the first one, so.
And there's still room on my pan, so I'm gonna pop some more tortillas in the microwave to fold up. I did that because when they're cold out of the fridge, they're harder to um, fold. So when they're warmer, they have more give. And these, I always like the um, the super soft, like they literally say super soft, because they are easier to fold and all that. They're not like, like getting cheap ones sometimes, which I do occasionally, but they'll crack when you try to like make a burrito or something so i really like the super soft hey okay. <laughs> here are my burritos um they're not perfect but they'll do um and this actually sorry i have flies all in my kitchen i opened the door so my dog could go out now there's like 10 flies in the kitchen i had used two chicken breasts and one can of beans and then all the cheese you saw me put in there's still a good bit left i'm gonna like set it aside um to have just extra filling i don't even know it may go to waste i may put it out by the mailbox but what we're going to do now is take what we strained from the beans and smother our uh, burritos with them. I'm just going to like go down the line of it and then back up as long as I can. That's why I didn't want to make like a whole ton because there's only so much that you have. And like if you're using leftover beans, you may have even less than this. Um, but some people may have had like an extra can, like there's a fly can lying around but um, we did this a few years ago i had just bought all the things after watching it and i did think at first like that looks a little weird but um it's actually really good like it's a good combination of everything and it's different i feel like i'm always doing meals where i'm combining two extremities like the breakfast nachos the other day but it always ends up working out um Okay, so these are smothered and going to go in the 350 oven. And I do have something special that we're going to put on top to keep with the barbecue theme of this. So I'm going to put them in the oven for probably um, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe. Um, and I'll show you guys what I'm putting on top once they're done. Okay, I've squatted down again. But here are the burritos out of the oven. Um, they've really absorbed the sauce. What I've made to go on top is some coleslaw. I got a bag of shredded coleslaw just from the grocery store with the salads and mixed it, oops, and <laughs> mixed it with my favorite barbecue sauce, the Alabama white barbecue sauce. This is pretty easy to make. You can Google like a recipe if you don't have access to buying it. Um, this is like the third recipe that I have a video on that I've put this stuff in. It is spicy, which none of this is spicy. So um, that's my preference and what my husband likes also. Like you can see, like I don't know if you guys can see, but there's lots of pepper in here. Um, it's very vinegary, but it's also so kind of creamy. It's just a really good uh, balance of a sauce. And um, I've never had an issue like I'm gonna plate all of this up. My husband is not home yet, but we've never had an issue with it sitting in the fridge for like a few hours and it's still pretty good. Like it doesn't get too soggy or anything. So he always like eats it after like I've done all of this and it's still really good. You could also still put like avocado, like whatever you want on it. You could put cheese on there. I did not, I opted out and only had it in the middle or in the inside, sorry. Plate it up and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I cut it in half and put the coleslaw in the middle. Um, and that's basically it. Like it's an easy, I know everybody's kind of tired today or um, you went out today and you still have leftovers in your fridge. So it's a good way to get use out of those leftovers. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody enjoys it. I hope everybody had a great fourth. Have a great rest of the week.